أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلا اذا بلغت التراقي وقيل من راق وظن انه الفراق والتفت الساق بالساق الى ربك يوم يزن المساق صدق الله العظيم we skipped a very important issue which is discussed in surah al qiyama ayah number 18 16 17 18 and 19 and actually these ayat concern the issue of the compilation of quran as we know the sequence of the revelation of the ayat and surahs of quran is definite definitely different from the sequence of compilation of this quran Now the question is, who compiled it? These ayat tell us this compilation was done by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Himself. When He said, "La tu harik mehi lisana kale ta jalabi," don't move your tongue hastily to remember this Quran. Inna alayna jamahu wa Qurana. We take responsibility that number one, you will not forget it. We shall gather it in your heart. or in your mind and quran are the sequence of recitation that is also upon us we will tell you where to place this surah a surah is being revealed now where it should be placed among the surahs that have already been revealed and we faiza qarana hu fattama qurana and we when we fix this sequence of qiraat and recitation then you have to follow the same sequence of qiraat So there is the hadith, you know, which tell that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to have a dora, a round of Quran during this month of Ramadan with Hazrat Jibril Alayhi Salatu Wassalam. He used to recite, and Jibril listened to, used to listen, and in that way, you know, the sequence was being fixed. And in the last Ramadan of the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was repeated twice. So the compilation was completed within the lifetime of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Although in the form of a book, it was not present. It was compiled in the form of a book during the caliphate of Hazrat Abu Bakr Rasulullah Taala. But Quran had been compiled, the sequence had been fixed, and so many hufas were there who had memorized the whole of Quran according to this sequence which we have today in Quran. And this is the sequence of Quran. In the law of Mahfuz, in the Kitab of Maknun, this is there with the Lord, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So now we proceed, because there was one scene, you know, which was shown. What will happen on the day of judgment? Wajhu hui yau maizin nazira, when the whole mankind will be standing before Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, waiting for the judgment. Now on the faces of the people, the judgment will be there written on their faces. Just as we have, you know, in the, during the high school days, they are used to be declared. You know, result is going to be declared on first of March, and when the students were there, so everybody could see on the face who is going to fail and who is going to pass. So actually, before the announcement of the judgment of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the people will know what is going to happen to us. Therefore, some of the faces will be very fresh, radiant. And they will be looking towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and some of the faces will be gloomy, and they will be fearing that now the treatment which will break their bone, backbone, is going to be done to them. Now the scene is of the death. 
That is the bigger qiyama, and this is the smaller qiyama of every person, individual person. When you die, as the Prophet has said, Mamata Fakad Kamat Qiyamatuhu. Who dies, his qiyama has come. Because now he cannot do anything. He cannot earn, you know, any good deeds. So what is whatever he could earn, he had earned already. As if his qiyama has come. So a scene from that qiyama, when death comes. Kalla iza balagati taraki. Hey. When the departing soul reaches the corner bone, you know, when it is all going out and reaches here. Wakilaman rak. And it is said, is there any soothsayer? Now the doctors have given, you know, they have said it's hopeless. They can't do anything. You can take your patient to home. But is there any soothsayer, some sorcerer, someone who can save his life? Kilaman rak wazannahul firak. And now that person himself has come to believe that now this is the departure. I have to leave this world, I am going. Well, tafat is saq o bisaq. In that, you know, the legs will come together and twist round each other. This is, you know, alam in naza, when, you know, this life is being taken out, the soul is being taken out. It's a very hard time on human beings if you have seen people dying, you know. So the legs will be twisting round each other. Ila rabbika yawma ijan masaq. So on that day, you will be driven towards your Lord, and there is no other place to run away and to have any refuge. فَلَا صَدَّقَ وَلَا صَلَّى But he neither affirmed nor prayed. This is the condition of the chiefs of Quraysh. They listened to Muhammad Wasallam, but they didn't accept. فَلَا صَدَّقَ Neither they accepted that whatever you are saying is true and good, Wala Swalla. Nor were they ready to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the contrary, Wala kin kazzaba wa ta'ala. But they belied and turned away. Summa zahaba ila ahlihi yatamatta. And then he went to his family arrogantly. Awla laka fa'ula. Woe to thee and woe to thee. Summa awla laka fa'ula. Again woe to thee. O man, woe. Ayahsabul insanu an yutra ka suda? Does man think that he is to be left wandering aimlessly, unrewarded? He will be left alone, no reward, no punishment. Alam yako nutfatam min manigi yumna. Was it not a sperm drop which was emitted? Summa kana alakatan. Then he was a clot of blood according to the old translations. But what I have come to understand, a leech-like structure hanging from the wall of the womb of the mother. Alaqa, mu'allaq. Fakhalaqa fasawwa. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it and fashioned it and gave it the figure. Fajala minhu zawjain. Azzakara walusa. And then he made of him two kinds, the male and the female, from the same sperm drop. Allah is making one a male child, other a female child. The whole system of body different, psychologically different, everything different. Alaysa zalika bi qadirin ala yuhi al Is not that Allah able to bring death to life? If you could create you out of that you know, sperm drop, can that Allah not bring you back to, to life? After your death. And here we must say, Bala ya Rabbul Alameen, wa nahnu ala zalika min shahideen. Why not, O our Lord? And we testify to it that actually this will happen. Now, Suratul Insan or Suratul Dahr. There are two names of this one surah Suratul Insan and Suratul Dahr. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. هَلْ أَتَعَلَ الْإِنسَانِ حِينُ مِنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيَّمْ مَسْكُورًا Now this Surah Al-Qiyamah and Surah Al-Dahr, they are a pair. And additional thing is that Surah Al-Qiyamah has ended with the mention of this Nutfa and then Qalaqa, this creation in the womb. And Surah Al-Insan or Surah Al-Dahr starts with it. So they are joined together. 
حل اتا الانسان حین من الدہر لم یقن شہی مذکورا ہیز دیر ناٹ بین اے ٹائم اے پیریڈ آف ٹائم وین مین واز نتھنگ وچ کین بی مینشنڈ ایوری بڈی نوز ایوری مین ہیز کم فرام دیٹ اسپرم ڈراپ اینڈ نو بڈی لائکس ٹو مینشن اٹ بٹ دیر واز اے پوائنٹ ان ٹائم وین ایچ ون آف اس واز ان دی فارم آف اے اسپرم ڈراپ حل اطار الانسان ہیرو میں نہ دہر نب یقن شہی مذکورا ہی واز ناٹ سم تھنگ مینشنیبل اٹ کین ناٹ ایون بی مینشنڈ سو نو ان نا خلق من انسان میں نطفت ان امشاد ان ویریلی وی ہیو کریٹ ان مین آؤٹ آف اے منگل اسپرم ڈراپ Now this also, now we can understand, formerly the Mufassarin couldn't understand. What does it mean intermingling? Actually, it is the coming together of the ovum of the mother and the sperm of the father. One cell has ovum, which is coming from the mother, ovary. And one cell, that is sperm, coming from the father. They join together. And then they become one cell, and that is called zygote. So this is actually Nutfatam Amshajin, the mixed, when the both cells, they mix with each other and become one cell. Nabutalihe, and we have created man, what for? To test him. Fajalnaahu Samiyam Basira. This is the same thing that we read in Surah Al-Mulk. Khalaqa al-Mawta wal-Hayata le yablu wa kumayyukum ahsanu amala. He has created death and life so that he tests you and tries you. Who among you? Does the better deeds and good deeds. So the same thing is here. Inna khalaqna linsana min nutfati namshadi nabtalihe. In order to test him. Fajalnaahu samiyam basira. Therefore, we gave him and we made him the listening, we gave him the listening and seeing. Hearing and seeing faculties we gave to him. Inna hadaynaahu samil. And secondly, we have shown him the way, the path. This was on us. Hadaynahun najadayn. Falhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha. Inna alayna lal huda. This responsibility rests on us. We shall make this way is correct, this is wrong. That we shall explain. Through our messengers, through our revelations. But then, the choice is theirs. Inna hadaynahun sabir, imma shakiram wa imma kafura. Whosoever wants to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, well let him be. And whosoever one wants to be ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let him be. It is the choice that we have given to every man. Inna atadna lil kafirin. But the end is not going to be the same. Choice is yours. Faman shaaf al yumin, faman shaaf al yakfur. The choice is yours. But the end will be very different. Inna atadna lil kafirin as salasila wa aglalam wa saira. Surely we have prepared for the disbelievers chains and fetters and blazing fire. In the Labrat, on the other hand, those, the pious people, Yashrabuna min Kasim, they will be drinking from a cup, Kana Mizajuha Kafura, where will be a, a mixture of camphor or a spring in the garden, you know, that there will be mixing of water from that spring. There are two interpretations of the ayah. Aina yashrabu biha ibadullah is going to be a fountain or a spring in the, in the paradise, in the garden. Yashrabu biha ibadullah, the servants of Allah will drink beside it on the coast of that spring or river. Yufadjiruna ha tafjira, and they will take it, divide it into their own gardens. The al-jannah is a big garden, but there are gardens for individuals. جنات عبن اللہتی تجلی میں تاکہ دنہار فیوری پرسن ان دی جنہ will have its own garden and you know the branches of that that spring or fountain they will be taking to their own gardens یوفونا بن نصر they fulfill their vows وَيَخَافُونَ يَوْمًا كَانَ شَرْهُ مُسْتَطِيرًا their vows they fulfill and fear a day the evil of which will be widespread وَيُتَعْمُونَ تَعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ And they used to feed, to give feed to the, give food to the people for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or although they also are in need of that food. 
ٹو میننگس ارا حب ہی فار دی لو آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اور ایون ایون وین دیم سیل نیڈ دیٹ فوڈ ان دا ٹائم آف ڈراؤٹ فار ایگزامپل ان دا ٹائم آف ہیون بٹ دے ہیو دی کریج تو واٹ سو ایور دے ہیو ٹو شیئر اٹ ود دی ادرس یو کین ڈو تام الا حب ہی مسکین و یتیم و غصیرا ایوری ون ہو از نیڈی اور از آرفن اور از اے کیپٹو ان لما نطعم کم لوجہ اللہ اینڈ دین دے سی وی ار فیڈنگ یو اونلی ٹو پلیز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی لا نرید منکم جزاء وی ڈونٹ ایکسپیکٹ اینی ریوارڈ فرام یو ولا شکورا اینڈ ناٹ ایون تھینکس وی ڈونٹ وانٹ تھینکس فرام یو وی ار فیڈنگ یو فار دی پلیجر اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ٹو پلیز ہم انا نخاف من ربنا یوما عبوسا قد ترینا انڈیڈ وی ار فیئرنگ فرام اور لارڈ on that day you know which is going to be frowning and very distressful fa waqahum allah sharra dhalik al yawm so allah tubana subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them from the evil of that day wa laqahum nadratan wa surura and caused them to receive radiance and pleasure wa jazahum bima sabaru and he recompensed them rewarded them due to the due to the endurance that they had they persevered in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala jazaahum bima sabaru due to their patience that they showed jannatan wa harira allah will reward them the garden and the silken clothings muttaqina fi hal al raik they will be reclining there in that garden al al raik on couches la yarawna fiha shamsan wala zam harira they will not see in it neither the heat of sun no intense heat nor intense cold وَدَانِيَةً عَلَيْهِمْ ظِلَالُهَا And its shades will be over them. دَانِيَةً عَلَيْهِمْ Close upon them will be the shade, shades and ظُلِّلَتْ قُطُوفُهَا تَذْلِيلَ And the clusters of the fruit will also be very near to them. They can catch them very easily. وَيُتَعْفُ عَلَيْهِمْ بِعَانِيَةٍ مِنْ فِضَّةً And there shall be passed down them vessels of silver and goblets وَأَقْوَابٍ كَانَتْ قَوَارِيرَا which will be made of glass crystal but that glass or crystal kawarira bin fizzatin it will be from silver silver made so transparent that you can see through it this glass is made of glass but maybe a glass made of silver but the silver is so transparent that you can see through it wa yusqawna fiha kasan kana mizajaha zan jamila and therein they will be given to drink a cup whose mixture will be from ginger ayan fiha to samma sal sabila this is also a fountain in the garden and its name is sal sabil wa yatufu alayhim bil daru mukhalladun and there shall go round about them immortal youths boys you should call you know in your restaurant boy they will be serving and they will be you know, there everywhere but they will remain of the same age they will not get old so that they remain permanently serving these people mukhalladun iza raaitahum hasibtahum luluwan mansura and they will be so handsome that when you see them you will you will feel that they are scattered pearls wa iza raaita samma raaita raima wa mulkan kabira and wherever you look you would see bliss and great kingdom aliyahum siyab sundusin khudrun wa istabraq upon them shall be the garments of green silk and brocade and they shall wa hullu wa sadara min fizzah they shall be adorned with bracelets of silver wa saqahum rabbuhum sharaban tahura and their lord shall give them a drink of pure beverage pure wine inna hadha kana lakum jazaan all this is a reward for you wa kana sayukum mashkura and all the deeds that you did all the striving that you undertook that has been appreciated by lord and so in reward you have been given all these things inna nahnu nazzalna alayka alqur'ana tanzila verily we have revealed to you this quran slowly gradually tanzila fasbir li hukmi rabbika so wait for the command of your lord wala tuti minhum asiman aw kafura and don't obey these people who are opposing you who are sinful 
am ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't listen to them even, what they are saying. Some of them used to come, oh Muhammad, just we should have some compromise. This Quran, as we have read in Surah Yunus, this Quran is very, very rigid. There should be some compromise between you and us. So either you bring forth some other Quran or you make some changes in it. In the same way in Surah Bani Israel we have read, وَإِنْ كَادُوا لَيَسْتَفِزُونَكَ لَيَفْتِلُونَكَ عَنِ الَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ لَتَفْتَرِيَا لَيْدَا غَيْرَا They want to, that, that you should abandon this Quran which we have revealed to you and you should say something yourself and then you say that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this pressure, but oh Muhammad, you don't even listen to them. إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنَ تَنزِيلَ Verily, we have sent down this Quran on you in a very gradual manner. فَسْمِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبَّكَ So you have to wait for the command of your Lord. وَلَا تُكَعِ مِنْهُمْ آسِمًا أَوْ كَفُورًا Don't obey or listen even attentively to any one of them who are a sinner and who is very ungrateful to Allah. وَسْقُرِ اسْمَ رَبَّكَ بُكْرَةً وَاسْفِيلًا And remember the name of your Lord. In the mornings as well as in the evenings. وَمِنَ اللَّهِ لِفَسْجُدْ لَهُ And some part of the night also. You keep prostrating before Him. وَسَبِّحْهُ لَيْلًا تَمِيلًا And glorifying Him in the long hours of the night. إِنَّ هَاؤُلَا يُحِبُّونَ الْعَادِلَةَ وَيَذَرُونَ بَرَاهُمْ يَوْمًا سَقِيلًا We had the ayah in Surah Al-Qiyamah. كَلَّا بَلْ تُحِبُّونَ الْعَادِلَةَ وَتَذَرُونَ الْآخِرَةَ the same thing is here. In the haulai, you have been al adila. These people, these kuffar, these disbelievers, who are not, who are turning away, who are not accepting you, actually they are in love of this world, this adila, the present world, the present life. In the haulai, you have been al adila, wa yadaruna warahum yaman sakila, and they are putting behind them the remembrance of the heavy day, that heavy day, that is the day of resurrection. نَحْنُ خَلَقْنَاهُمْ وَشَدَدْنَا أَسْرَهُمْ Verily, we created them and we have strengthened their joints, أَسْرَهُمْ وَإِذَا شَيْنَا بَدَّلْنَا أَمْسَالَهُمْ تَرْدِيلًا And whenever we will like, we shall substitute the like of them in exchange. We shall exchange them and there will be new bodies we shall give them. إِنَّ هَذِهِ تَسْكِرَهُ Verily, this is admonition. This is reminding. فَمَنْ شَاءَ تَخَذَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ سَبِيلًا So whosoever wishes, he can take, adopt the path towards his Lord. وَمَا تَشَاوُنَا إِلَّا يَشَاءَ اللَّهِ And you cannot wish unless Allah permits. For that, final sanction has to come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything and is all wise. يُدْخِلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ فِي رَحْمَتِهِ He admits into his mercy whomsoever he likes. وَالظَّالِمِينَ As for the evildoers, عَدَّ لَهُمْ عَذَابًا عَلِيمًا He has prepared for them a very painful chastisement. Surah Al-Mursalat, you will see this Surah Al-Mursalat has 50 ayat, 40 in first section, 10 in the next. Surah Al-Naba, 40 ayat, 30 in first section, 10 in the second. And very similar to each other. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal mursalat ar-Urfan. By the winds sent continuously. Wind blowing. Fal asifat ar-Asfan. And by the scattering winds, who scatter the clouds, we have read two surahs of this style. وَصَافَاتِ صَفًا فَزَاجِرَاتِ زَجْرًا فَتَارِيَاتِ زِكْرًا سُنَةُ الصَّافَاتِ وَزَارِيَاتِ زَرْوًا وَالْحَامِلَاتِ وِقْرًا The second one is مَزَارِيَاتِ Third is this مُرْسَلَاتِ And I explained at that time that here either the winds or the angels are mentioned. Except the final fifth of this style will be that will be سُنَةُ الْعَادِيَاتِ There the horses are referred. But in the four, these are either winds or the angels. And I have also mentioned, Reh and Ruh, they are very close to each other. Just as Nar and Noor are very close to each other. 
reeh and ruh. We can't see air. We know that air is here, but can't see it. We know that ruh is on us, but can't see it. So reeh and ruh are also very close. So first two oaths which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking here, they refer to winds. But the rest, they offer, they refer to the angels. One nashirate nashiran. And the scattering winds, scattering clouds. Then falfarikate farqan. Then serving them similarly. Now, falmulqiyate zikran. And they bring down remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts of the people. Udran or nudran, by way of excusing or warning. By way of either ex cut off the excuses or to warn. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends this zikr, a mulqiyat zikran, and the, the angels, you know, they recite that zikr. They recite it to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and Muhammad then recited it to the people. So these are the, the oaths, and they are the most difficult portion of Quran, the interpretation of these oaths. And there are so many views. But what is the fact that on which these oaths are taken? Innama tu aduna la Definitely, what you are being promised is going to happen. Don't think this mention of resurrection and you know, asa, al qiyama, al jannah, al jahannam, there is nothing. No, these are facts. And these will come before your eyes. Innama tu aduna la Whatever you are being promised, it will happen. So when the stars will be made dim, by the sama of Forijat, and when the heaven will be cleft asunder, by the Jebalo Nusifat, and when the mountains will be scattered like dust, by the Rusul Ukatat, and when the messengers will be gathered to their appointed time. The messengers will be summoned. Come on. The messenger who was sent to Qawm Aad, come on and testify that you had delivered that message that we sent to you, to your people Aad. So they will be summoned. Is that Rusul Uqtetat? To what day has all this been delayed? This thing has been deferred, delayed. For what day? Which day? The Yawm al Fasl. It has been deferred. Till the day of decision, day of judgment. And what will make you realize what is that day of decision and judgment? Woe on that day to the beliars. Now this ayah will be repeated ten times. Woe to those who belied, who rejected, who, stay, who said there is no truth in these things. Alam did we not destroy the ancients? Summa nutbehumul akhirin. And we shall cause the later ones to follow them. If we destroy those people of Nu and Hud and Saleh, we can destroy Quraysh also. We can destroy Romans also. We can destroy others also. Kazalika nafaru bil mujrimin. In this way we deal with the guilty. Valuiya o my dillil mukazimin. Woe on that day to the beliars. Alam nakhrukum imai mahin. Now these are all signs from different aspects of what we see, our observations. Alam nakhrukum imai mahin. Did we not create you from a hateful fluid? Fajal nao fi karari makin. Then we placed it in a secure depository, the womb of your mother. Ila qadari maloom. Till an appointed term. Fakadarna. فَقَدَرْنَا فَنَعْمَ الْقَادِرُونَ So we appointed and mayored. And how excellent are we, the mayorers. وَيَلُوِنْ يَوْمَ يَدِلِّ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ Nine months we kept you in the wombs of your mothers. وَيَلُوِنْ يَوْمَ يَدِلِّ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ أَلَمْ نَجَلِ الْأَرْضَ كِفَاتَ Have we not made this earth a receptacle? أَحْيَامْ وَأَمْوَاتَ For the living as well as for the dead. He is sustaining the living, giving food to, to give you the sustenance. But it will deceive you when you are dead. In its womb, again you go into the womb of this earth. Ayam wa amwata. Vajalna fiha ravasiya shami khatin. And we are placed therein lofty mountains. Vastainakum maan furata. 
and we gave you to drink sweet water. All these things are proofs that whosoever has given you all these blessings, he will question you also. He will bring you to book. You will be account, accounted. And this grand accountability, you know, that will decide. Either you are a failure. So if there is failure, you, will be, you are bound to go to hell. And this is The woe to those who were beliars. And then it will be said to them, Now go to that place which you had been belying. That's hell. You said, no, 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 nothing of the sad is going to happen. In Tareku Ila Zizrin Zizanase Shab. Go towards that shadow having three branches. La Zalilin, Wala Yugni Min Al Lahab. Neither there is any shade in it, nor availing against the flame. In the heart of me, be Sharanin Kal Kasm. This is surely, it is shooting out sparks like castles or logs of woods. Kanahu Jamalatun Sufr. As if they are golden yellow camels. This is the day that they are not speaking, not saying anything. Nor they shall be allowed to make excuses and present their excuses. This is the day of decision and decision and judgment. We have gathered you and also those who were before you. So if you have something, you can have some plot. So now use that plot against us. Bring up, up, up out your, your, your arguments. Now the second section. On the contrary, the God-fearing will be in the shades and springs. And such fruits as they will desire and like. Kulu vashrabu haniya. Jaza bema kuntum tamalun. Eat and drink pleasantly for what you were doing in, in your life. Inna kazalik and ajjil mohsaneen. Thus we recompense and reward to those who attain excellence in their deen. Again, woe to those on day, on that day, who be lied. Okay, go on eating and enjoying comforts in, of this world for some, for a little while. You are guilty, you are culprits. You are going to be brought to the judgment. When it is said to them, you should bow down before your Lord, they are not ready to bow down. So now these people, on what discourse, which admonition, will, which sermon will be, will be beneficial for them, that they will have the faith and they will believe in it. After this Quran, even now, if they don't accept, then when they, they will be able to accept. Now, Surah Naba. Naba means a very big news. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amma yatasalun. About what do they question each other? Because then the Prophet said, You will all be resurrected. They said, Oh, what is he saying? Then we shall all be dead. We will be brought to life again. And also our forefathers. So there was, you know, a thing going on in this city. What Muhammad is saying? What news is giving? So this is it. As, as Hali has said, Wo bijli ka kadka tha ya saute haadi, Arab ki zami jis ne sari hiladi. This news, you know, that stirred up this whole society. Amma yatasalu. About what they are questioning each other. And in Nabai Azim, about that great news, Allah Muhtalifun, regarding which they are differing with each other. Allah
not at all. Very soon they will come to know. When it, is, when it will be before them, they will come to know. Summa kalla sayadamun. May again, they shall soon come to know. Alam najali larda mehada. Didn't we make the earth a cradle? Well, jibala utada. And didn't we make the mountains as pets? Bakhalak maakum as waja. And we created you in pairs. Vajalna naumakum sabata. And we appointed for you sleep, for a repose. Vajalna laila libasa. And we appointed the night as a garment, as a cover, as a covering. Vajalna nahara maasha. And we appointed the day for a livelihood, to earn your livelihood. Go about and earn. Vabanaina faukakum saban shadada. And we built upon you, over you, seven strong firmaments. Heavens, seven heavens, strong. Vajalna sirajam vahaja. And then we made the sun as a dazzling lamp. Vanzalna minal mo sirate maan sanjaja. And we sent down from the rain clouds abundant water, water coming, rain coming. Le nukhrija bihi habba wa nabata. So that we bring out from the land, from the earth, with this water, the grain as well as the plants. Vajannatin al-fafa. As well as the gardens, who are very thick in growth. Inna yawm al-faslika nami taata. Verily, surely, definitely, the day of that decision, the day of judgment is appointed that will come. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you all these things, well, He will question you. <coughs> In what way you availed of them? In what way they, you, you, you use these blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In the right way or the wrong way? If in the right way, you'll be rewarded. If in the wrong way, you'll be punished. Inna yawmal fasle kaana miqata. This is the crux of the matter. You know, referring to these, these are our creations. This we have done, this we have done, this we have done. But the crux of the matter is that inna yawmal fasle kaana miqata. The day of judgment and decision <coughs> is already fixed. <coughs> and we have read in Surah Al-Mursalat, لِأَيَّ يَوْمٍ أُجِّلَتْ لِيَوْمِ الْفَصْلِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الْفَصْلِ Here, إِنَّ يَوْمَ الْفَصْلِ كَانَ مِيْقَاتَ These two surahs are a pair. يَوْمَ يُنْفَقُ فِي السُورِ فَتَاتُونَ أَفْوَاجَ The day when, you know, the trumpet will be blown and you will come in armies, coming in multitudes. وَفُطِحَتِ السَّمَاءِ فَكَانَتْ أَبْوَابَ And the sky, the heaven will be opened. It will become all gates. وَسُيَّرْتِ الْجِبَالِ فَكَانَتْ سَرَابَ And the mountains will be set in motion. So they become a mirage as a desert. Sand, slippery sand. No Himalaya, no Alps, nothing of the sort. Everything clean. La ibaja fiha wala amta. Neither any heights, nor any turns. It will, all this world will be plain. Iza dukkat in lardu dakkan dakka. You know, it will be beaten into a plain medan, plain, you know, ground. Inna jahannam akanat mirsada. Verily, the hell is waiting in ambush for you. Waiting. When my prey comes, in the Jahannam Akalat Mirsada, waiting in ambush. Litahina Mahaba, and it's going to be the abode of the transgressors. La Besina Fiha Akaba. To abide by there, to be there, to live there forever, forever, for ages and ages. Abiding therein for ages. La Yazukuna Fiha Bardam Wala Sharaba. They will not taste in that hell, neither coolness nor any drink. Illa hamimam wa The only drink will be boiling water and the washings of the wounds. 
بس اینڈ آل دوز تھنگس معاذ اللہ جزا ام و فاقا اینڈ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے پراپر اینڈ فل ریکمپنس فار وٹ دے ہیو بین ڈوئنگ ان نہ کانو لا یرجون حسابا ویری لی دے ور نیور ایکسپیکٹنگ دیٹ دے آر گوئنگ ٹو بی یو نو ٹو بی آسڈ اینڈ کوسچن دے ڈنٹ ہوپ اینی ریکننگ ان نہ کانو لا یرجون حسابا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا كِسَابَا And they kept belying our revelations vehemently. وَكُلَّ شَيْنَا حَسَيْنَاهُ كِتَابَا But on the other hand, we had kept a record of everything written and everything we have computed in a book. فَزُوكُوا Now taste. فَلَمْ نَزِيدَكُمْ إِلَّا عَزَابَا We are not going to increase for you anything except the severeness of the chastisement. Now, the second section. إِنَّ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ مَفَاظَ The same, you know, pattern is the same. Surah Al-Mursalat and Surah Al-Naba. Verily, for the God-fearing, there is success and achievement. إِنَّ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ مَفَاظَ What is it? حَدَائِقَ وَعَنَابَ Gardens and vineyards. وَكَوَائِبَ أَتْرَابَ And youthful wives of equal age, loving. وَكَأْسًا دِهَاقَ And an overflowing cup to drink. لَا يَسْمَعُونَ فِيهَا لَغْمًا وَلَا كِسَّابَ They will not have to listen there and hear. No, not any vain talk, nor any lying. جَزَامِ مِنْ رَبِّكَ عَتَعَنْ حِسَابَ This will be the recompense from your Lord. A gift of reckoning. رَبِّ السَّمَابَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا Who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and whatsoever is between them. لَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِنْهُ خِتَابًا They will not be able, they will not have the power to talk to him, to converse with him. Nobody will have the courage to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ The day when the ar-ruh, that is Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, Wal malaika and other angels, they will be standing saffan in arrays, in rows. La yatakallamun. None of them will be able to speak a word. Illa man azna lahu rahman. Except the one to whom Rahman, the compassionate, has given permission to speak. Wa qala sawaba. And then he will not say anything wrong. They will not intercede on the behalf of the culprits. They will say whatever is correct. Nothing wrong. First of all, they will not have the courage to speak without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after the permission they get, they will say whatever is truth. Nothing wrong. Zalik al yawmul haq. This is the day, the true day. The day which is certain to come. Sure to come. فَمَنْ شَاءَ تَخَدَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ مَعَابَا so whomsoever, whosoever wants, he can take a recourse to his Lord. إِنَّا أَنزَرْنَاكُمْ عَزَابًا قَرِيبًا We have warned you against that chastisement which is very near. Don't think it's very far off. Maybe you die tonight and the punishment starts. In the barzakh, in the grave also. As the Prophet says, وسلم, every grave is either a pit from the pits of Jahannam, hell, or a small garden among the gardens of Jannah. So that is going to start immediately. Inna anzarnaakum azaban qariba. We have warned you. You won't be able to say that we were not forewarned. The warning has come to you. And this is the same word, nazir. You know, the second ayah of Surah Al-Muddassir. Ya ayu al-Muddassir, hum fa'anzir. Guard up your loins, stand up and start warning the people. Yawma yandurul maru ma qaddamat yadah. The day when man will see what his both hands had sent before him. You know, whatever we are doing, it is going on. 
It's being deposited in the hereafter. It's being, you know, credited or discredited to our account. Going on. But we are forgetting. But on that day, we shall be, have to see. This is what we are sent. Yama yandurul maru makadnamak yada. When the person will see. Roman, whosoever does, even, you know, equal to an atom, good, yara, he will see it. Roman yamal mistala zarratin khairan yara. Roman yamal mistala zarratin sharran yara. Either good or bad, whatever you have committed. Howsoever small it might be, you will see it before you. Wa yakulul kafir. And on that day, the disbeliever would say, Ya laitani kuntu turaba. Oh, would it be that I was mere dust and not, not a man? Because had we been dust, there would not be, have been any questioning here. No reward. No accountability. There is a very beautiful saying in Persian language, Mara akash ke madar nazade. This would be our condition. Would that my mother had not born me. Would that I was not born a human being. And Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, you know, the Allah Ta'ala used to say, how much I long that I should have been like a parrot, like a sparrow, this small animal, not accountable, like a blade of grass, which is put in the fire, burnt, but no questioning, no reckoning, no accounting. So if whosoever has real faith in it, he keeps fearing. Amma man khafa maqama rabbihi wa nahan nafsa anil hawa. But on that day the kafir would say, wa yaqulu al-kafiru ya laytani kuntu turaba. Word that I were mere dust and nothing else. Now we are at Surah Al-Nazi'at. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-Nazi'at gharqan, wal-Nashitat nashtan, wal-Sabihat sabhan, fal-Sabiqat sabqan, fal-Mudabbirat amra. Sadaq Allah al-Azim. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل لقطه من لساني يفقهوا قولي as i mentioned before also five surahs of the quran start with this style was safat safan that was the first then was zariyat zarwan that was the second wal mursalat urfan that was the third this is the fourth, وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقًا And the final and fifth will be وَالْعَادِيَاتِ دَبْحًا فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَدْحًا فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ سُبْحًا Just, as you may remember, 29 surahs of the Qur'an start with حُرُوفِ مُقَتَّعَات Letters, which are pronounced separately. Three with one, نُون قَاف صَاد And so on. In total, 29 surahs, they begin with Furuf al-Muqattaat. Five start like this. So there are various forms in which the surahs begin. Regarding the first and this fourth, there is consensus that here angels are mentioned. Wasafat Safan, that surah contains an intrinsic proof also that there the angels have been mentioned. Here also there is consensus in Nazi'at that these are the angels. And the final one, Wal Adiyat, about that also there is no difference of opinion. But you know, the, in between two, Zariyat and Mursalat, about the oaths of these two surahs, there are many opinions. But here it is absolutely agreed. Wal Nazi'at Gharqan, by the angels, who tear the souls of the wicked forcibly. Gharqan, the angel, dive deep into the human being and then tears off the soul when it is dying. And this is for the kuffar, because their souls, when they are taken and possessed by the angels, it is as if they have been torn, you know. 
But for the Muslims, for the believers, were na shetat nashtan. By the angels who untie gently the souls of the virtuous and the righteous. You know, they very ease. Oh. So that is the difference between how an unbeliever dies and how a mormon dies. The Prophet said that the death of an unbeliever is like there's a hot rod on which there is kebab, you know. And you are just pulling the kebab off that hot rod. But and as for the moments, believers, as if there was some bag of water and only a drop comes out of it. That's all. Easily. There's no difficulty for them. But this is the inner aspect. Outwardly, there might be, even the believers when they die, they might face hard times. For, the, for those who see, they might feel that they are having a very hard time. Because you know that even the Prophet Sallallahu at the time of death, he had much of, you know, stress and he was in pain, agony, very severe headache, and all these things were there. So one is the external aspect, which is visible to the people. Other is the internal aspect. When, you know, this soul is taken away from that body, so the, the condition of the disbelievers is different from that of the believers. Then, taking possession of the souls of these people by the angels, who then float swimmingly, they go, they are going, taking away the souls. Then they go racing with one another. They compete. I will go further. And the other is competing. No, I'll go first. And then they ordain the decreed affair that has been Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. That is where to take the soul. Either towards Iliyin or towards Sijin. That we shall learn inshallah in Surah Al-Mutafifin. But according to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then these angels take these souls to their destinations. Now after these five ayat of oaths, Muqsam alayh, on what these oaths have been taken, it is not mentioned. It is understood, and that is, إِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِعِ إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَسَادِقِ Just as we found in Surah Zariyat, in the Sreve Mursalat, so there, you know, we find this muqsam alayh, or what this oath Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking, that is, inna ad-deena la waqih, inna ma tu'aduna la sadiqun, wa inna ad-deena la waqih. Whatever is being promised to you is absolutely true, it will happen, and the day of recompense, the day of, day of judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is definitely coming, so there is no doubt in it. يَوْمَ تَرْجُفُ الرَّاجِفَةُ تَتْبَعُهَا الرَّاجِفَةُ Upon the day where the shaking thing will shake. And then, after it, there will follow a next blast. These refer to two blowings of the trumpets. The first day, that is, أَسَّاعَةُ When the trumpet will be blown, the earth and the mountains will shake like anything. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ اِتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّ زَلْزَلَةَ السَّاعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَصِيمٌ An earthquake, a quaking, a shaking, a terrible shaking. But after some time, then there will be يَوْبُ الْقِيَامَةِ The day of resurrection. It will be followed by the second blowing of the trumpet, when all will be revived. So these are the two. And we have read it in Surah Zumar also. وَنُفِقَ فِي السُّورِ فَسَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّبَابَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْغَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ نُفِقَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْزُرُونَ So these two blowings of the trumpet. قُلُوبٌ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ وَاجِفَا Many a heart on that day will be throbbing in fear. أَبْسَارُهَا خَاشِعَا Their glances, their eyes will be downcast. يَقُولُونَ إِنَّا لَمَرْدُودُونَ فِي الْحَافِرَةِ That will be the picture of the day of judgment, or the day of the recompense. But today what they are saying? يَقُولُونَ Today they are saying, إِنَّا لَمَرْدُودُونَ فِي الْحَافِرَةِ Are we indeed to be restored to our former state? 
Shell baby resurrected when we die and we become bones and clay and, and dust. Aiza kunna izaman nakhira. What? When we shall have become bones, decayed. Kalu tilika izan karratun khasira. They say that would then be a losing return. This is a taunting. You know, now, okay, yes, as Muhammad is saying, if we are returned, definitely, then it is going to be a very losing return. We will be in loss. But they were not believing in it. But it shall only be a frightening shout. Zajra. Frightening. And behold, they shall all appear on the gathering plain. The Maidan Hash, the plain on which all human souls will be gathered. Halataka Hadith of Musa. Has the story of Musa come to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is Nadahu Rabbuhu Bilwadil Muqaddas Tuwa? Just recall. When his Lord called him in the sacred valley of Tuwa. Now this has come many a times and in details. Here in the, the small surahs, this mention is very brief. Iza bila Fir'aun aindahu taha. Go to Fir'aun. Surely he has exceeded all limits. Fakul hal laka ila anta zakka. And say to him, would you like to be purified? Would you like your soul to be purified? Wahdiya ka ila rabbi ka fataksha. And may I guide you to your Lord so that you have his fear? Fa'arahu al-ayat al-kubra. Then he showed him the biggest sign, the miracle, the staff turning into a serpent. Fataksha wa But what happened? He belied and disobeyed. So Madhbara Yasra. Then he turned back hastily, striving to defeat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, gathering the sorcerers, magicians, so that there should be, you know, a competition between the two, so that it is proved that Musa is nothing but a sorcerer or a magician and nothing else. So he tried his best. Fahashara Fadada. Then he gathered the people. And cried out, Nada. He cried out and shouted. And he said, Fakal, Ana Rabbukumul Ala. I am your Lord, the Most High. This is very important, and we have read it before also. That he said, Alay Sali Mulkobis is not the kingdom of Egypt under me. I am the monarch. I am the sovereign. All this irrigation system is under my control. So this is the political sovereignty, which he is saying that I am Lord. So this aspect of Tawheed we have discussed in full. That Tawheed, on the one hand, Tawheed of creed, Tawheed fil aqida. On the other hand, Tawheed fil amal, Tawheed fil in practice, and in practice, you know, if somebody is following his wishes and desires and lusts and contravening the, the, the demands of, and laws of, of the Sharia, then he has made his nafs his God, his Allah. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikri al-Hakim. Allahu Akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. 
a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.